May 18, 1980, a large earthquake occurred on Mount St. Helens, and it happened. It exploded. The volcano violently erupted, sending a huge column of ash into the air and triggering a lateral blast. I recently visited Mount St. Helens with a nice view of the side that blew off in this eruption. Recently, the mountain's been rumbling quite a bit, leading to headlines like these, asking if the hundreds of tiny earthquakes might mean, is it time for Mount St. Helens to blow again? And if so, am I even safe to be this close to the Noble Mountain? There we go, look at that. We got Mount St. Helens. That's Mount St. Helens. That's the baby that exploded in 80. And as you can see, actually if I zoom in for you, you can look at that. You were on the, pretty much on the side that blew off. So you can see, if you could see a picture of it before, you'd see quite a difference. So pretty cool. Mount St. Helens is just one of many of the Cascade Range volcanoes found on the western coast of the United States. And as you can see from this USGS graph, it's a rather active one, erupting quite frequently over the past 4,000 years. There's Mount St. Helens behind me. Just layers of pumice here from the volcanic eruptions. Oh, I'm collecting the big pieces I can find and there's something just really cool about walking on a bed of pumice here. So what about all that recent activity? Well, according to the Cascades Volcano Observatory, over the past several months, small magnitude earthquakes have been located at Mount St. Helens. But the seismicity is similar to what was observed at the volcano from periods such as July to December 2023, and no significant changes have been observed in other monitoring parameters. There's no change in the alert level at this time. Mount St. Helens remains at the normal background level of activity. The recharge events can occur when the magma enters the upper reservoir, and this increases stresses that lead to earthquakes. This is an image by the USGS on May 18, 1980 at 7 a.m. showing Mount St. Helens, and it says, totally clear with no activity. And then that one large earthquake occurred, and... Vancouver, Vancouver, this is it. In summary, it's safe to assume that sometime in the near future, Mount St. Helens will violently erupt again. And since seismic activity is just a part of the nature of the volcano, we have to be careful with assuming that a series of earthquakes means an eruption is going to happen. So don't panic just yet and don't make the mistake I made. That is not a magnitude 5 earthquake on St. Helens. That is somewhere else. Here's a graph of USGS data on earthquake events per week on Mount St. Helens. As you can see, really just a slight uptick. The number of earthquakes per week appear to have reached a peak in June at about 38 events a week. If we expand the scale and look at the seismicity between 2008 to 2024, we can see that the activity is consistent with the normal background levels. Thus, the USGS says Mount St. Helens is green or normal. And with that green light, I'm going to head back out and explore Mount St. Helens and the surrounding Cascade volcanoes so I can continue to bring you more volcanic and geology adventures. And check back here soon because I'll be sharing an extended version of today's discussion where I'll go a little deeper into Mount St. Helens and Mount St. Helens seismicity and what causes these random rumblings. Sub if you're not already, if you want to learn about geology and join me on these virtual field adventures, I'll see you guys on the next adventure.